back in session. So I'm gonna be giving you a tour of my brand new Bloxburg school build. First of all, we have the parking lot and this also is the drop off and pick up area. So we have a school bus. Here's what it looks like. Um, the bus is one sided. And who's driving this bus? Because there is no driver's seat. Here's what the inside of the bus looks like. And the seats are actually functional. Now let's head inside. Here's what it looks like when you first walk in. And these water fountains are a build hack from my friend Robuilt. And this is the main office. I think it looks really good. There's a TV, places to sit down if you're waiting to be assisted. And here's where the office attendants work. This is supposed to be like a lost and found box. Here's a fax machine and also a water dispenser. And these are two build hacks by Yummy Cookie. There's some cups on top of the file cabinet to get your water. And here is the principal's office. This office is really cute, so I actually wouldn't mind being sent here. I think it has the perfect amount of clutter and I think this room came along really nicely. Okay, let's go ahead and leave the office. The first classroom is actually the first graders classroom. I think it's so cute. They have a little workspace. And then this area over here would be where they sit down on the carpet and the teacher can read stories. I put the toys away so they wouldn't be too distracting. And this is kind of like a little Easter egg. If you remember the role play where Livy was in the school play, you might recognize this. So that's our first classroom. The next area is the restroom. There's only one restroom because again, this is just for foaming purposes. There's four stalls and one of them is a mess. This is the only one that you can actually walk into and who wrote that? Before we head to the back of the building, I'm gonna take you guys upstairs. Our next classroom right above the first graders is the science lab. And again, I really like how this classroom turned out. I think it looks really nice. Of course, there's a sink and we have these seats right here, but then we also have normal desks. The teacher's area is pretty messy, but I feel like it definitely gives the perfect science teacher vibes. And one of my favorite additions was this skeleton over here. And that's it for the science class. And right next door, this is where the fifth graders are gonna be. This is a pretty small classroom, but I feel like once it fills in with all the students, it's gonna look a lot better. Now we're back downstairs, which brings us to the nurse's office. I made these custom little beds and then there's a clipboard on it so you can fill out what's wrong. I love these posters. We have those two right there and then we have this one up here. And then here's the nurse's desk. And then there's a bunch of things to help the students feel better. One of my favorite parts of this school is the cafeteria. When you first walk in, there's some trays and napkins and trash cans. I love the colorful tables and there's also a vending machine, which is pretty cool. And then we have the area where the lunch line would be. And it was a while ago, but I'm pretty sure Ro did this food stand for me. And it's really good. And I love the little details right here. It just makes the cafeteria look so much better. And then this room is obviously the kitchen where all the lunch ladies would be. In the cafeteria, we have double doors that lead us outside. This is the track and field, and there's a bunch of bleachers all around, and there's also a table in case anyone wanted to take their lunch out here. On the other side, there's an announcer booth in case there's any games going on. That's why you might see some speakers, because if the announcers are in there talking, their mics are gonna have to pick up on something. But yeah, this room also doubles as storage for some PE equipment. And last but definitely not least, we have the library. It's pretty small because I didn't want to overwhelm myself with a giant 
filled, but I tried to utilize the space as much as I could. So when you walk in, there's like a little ramp. Then here's a cart full of books that have been returned. There's another fax machine over there. Over here is the librarian's desk. And then I used the mailbox as like a place where people can also return their books. And of course we have bookshelves because it's a library after all. And then finally, we have the computer lab. So there's obviously computers, there's a projector, and a TV. I cannot wait to start making back to school content, but I just wanted you guys to see the school tour before we got started with all that. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Comment down below what your favorite part is. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!